Hello everyone, my name is Simran and I am going to teach you mathematics. Students, in the last class we have already completed the exterior angle property and today we will be discussing about the angle sum property of the triangle. So let's start discussing that. So the property that is angle sum property says that all the angles of the triangle sum is equals to 180 degree. Okay, and this is the angle sum property of the triangle. Alright students, so the total measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. This means that one of the triangle of the triangle is equal to 180 degree. Alright students, so now we will tell you how we can justify this. Like we have made this triangle. बनाए ट्राइंगल ए बी सी अब हमने इस ट्राइंगल की साइड बी सी को एक्सटेंड किया बी डी तक ओके अब स्टूडेंट्स इसके अंदर जो वन टू और एंगल थ्री है ये तीन एंगल्स कौन से हैं ट्राइंगल के एंगल्स हैं ओके वो तीन एंगल्स जो ट्राइंगल्स के अंदर बन रहे हैं और एंगल फोर जो है वो उसका एक्सटीरियर एंगल है ओके सो एंगल फोर इज द एक्सटीरियर एंगल ऑफ द ट्राइंगल ए बी सी फिर एज ट्राइंगल्स ABC's angles are angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3. Alright students, so 1 to 3 are the angles of the triangle ABC and angle 4 is the exterior angle when BC is extended to D. Alright students, looking at the next part. For example, students if I am talking about this 4 angle, then this 4th angle that is the exterior angle is equal to the sum of these 2 angles that is angle 1 plus angle 2. Why? Because of exterior angle property. It says that the sum of 2 opposite interior angle is equal to the exterior angle. Alright students, for example, angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 4 by exterior angle property. जिसका मतलब है कि exterior angle जो होगा triangle का वो किसके equal होगा उसके दोनों interior angles जो उसके opposite बनेंगे उनके sum के equal होगा alright students अब हम इस part के अंदर angle three both sides पे add करेंगे so adding angle three on both the sides so it will become one plus two plus three is equals to four plus three okay students so it will be equal to one plus two plus three is equals to angle four plus angle three. All right, students. Now, students, this four plus three. Have a look. What is this four plus three, students? This complete angle. Four plus three are the two angles that are becoming the linear pair because these are on the straight line. Okay, and the sum of these two angles is equals to one hundred and eighty degree. In dono angles ka jo sum hoga, wo kya hoga? One eighty degree ke barabar hoga. क्योंकि ये दोनों एंगल्स एक स्ट्रेट लाइन पे फॉल कर रहे हैं। All right students, so angle four plus angle three जो होगा वो किसके इक्वल होगा? 180 डिग्री के, okay? So angle one plus angle two plus angle three 180 डिग्री के इक्वल है। So let us see how we can use this property in a number of ways. अब हम इसके ऊपर बेस्ड एग्जांपल पढ़ते हैं। What is the example based upon this property? In the given figure, find the measure of angle P. We have to find the measure of angle P whereas we know these two angles okay now students by angle sum property we know that all the angle sum of a triangle is equals to 180 degree okay so by angle sum property angle sum property measure of angle Q plus measure of angle R Plus measure of angle P is equals to 180 degree. Three no angles ka sum kya hoga? 180 degree hoga. Okay. Measure of angle Q kya hai? 47 degree. Measure of angle R kya hai? 52 degree. Ob nikalna kya hai? Measure of angle P that is equals to 180 degree, right? A 47 degree plus 52 degree kitna hua? 99 degree. So this 99 degree plus measure of angle P is equals to 180 degree. Measure of angle P is equal to 180 degree minus 99 degree that is 81 degree. So what is the angle P that is 81 degree? Alright students, so this is all about the example of this exercise students. In the next class we are going to discuss about the questions based upon this property that is angle sum property. So I really hope that you all have a nice day students. Do practice hard. We will be meeting in your next class. Bye bye.